Bill Clinton lied in his convention speech last night about Hillary, omitting a lot and saying a lot that was only half true. So I'd like to fill in the blanks, and I hope we can circulate this all over the place so we can get the truth out. He spent a lot of time talking about how idealistic Hillary was in law school, defending women and children. The fact is, the main thing she did was to help represent the Black Panthers, who were accused of murdering police officers and security guards. She uh, monitored the trial to find reversible error that could be cited on appeal to get them off after they were found guilty. Then she was drawn close to their lawyers, the True Half Law Firm, uh, and went to San Francisco from Yale uh, to spend her summer working for that law firm. Trueheft was the head of the California Communist Party and was a well-known Marxist, and that was well-known as a communist law firm. And while she was there, she got in touch with Saul Alinsky and became one of his acolytes. Bill then said he went to Arkansas after law school and Hillary went back to Massachusetts. Well, he omits that she went to work for the Watergate Committee and was fired because she took home documents and stole them that were important to Nixon's defense. And uh, she was fired by the Watergate Committee for doing that. And after that blackballing, she couldn't get a job anyplace. She also flunked the D.C. bar, which takes some doing. And the only place she could pass was the Arkansas bar. So she went off to Arkansas. There, Bill says, he can, she continued her work for women and children. The hell she did. The main thing she did, their big case, was she defended a, for, a rapist who was accused of raping a 14-year-old girl. And she got him off by saying that the girl was fantasizing about sex with older men and that the rape was voluntary. Uh, she gave an interview in 1980 on TV saying that she knew that the guy was guilty and laughing about the fact that she got him off. The, uh, there's also an interview with the girl herself, now of course a grown woman. Uh, she went to work for the Rose Law Firm when Bill became Attorney General and made partner when Bill became Governor. Her job there was not representing pro bono cases. It was getting state business through her husband so that the law firm could make a lot of money off his governorship. And it did. She got a huge retainer to defend the state in a utility case and made tens of millions of fees for the law firm. Uh, she disguised her share of those fees by taking more of the non-state business and pretending she wasn't being compensated by the state business to make up for it. She also got involved then in doing phony legal work for uh, Jim McDougall, the head of the Madison Bank, who was barred from buying real estate using his own bank's funds because of the shenanigans he'd pulled in the past. And Hillary did a legal deal where the property was bought by a straw man, a phony purchaser, and then turned over to McDougall. Uh, she was investigated by a grand jury for that felony. And she skated because they couldn't find the billing records, which had disappeared from the firm and had been hidden in the White House and couldn't prove that Hillary had worked on that project. Bill says that after Chelsea was born, Hillary was so involved in her life, taking her to soccer games and play dates and all kinds of stuff. The fact of the matter is that those duties were all performed by Arkansas state staff. There was a full-time nanny and an assistant on the state payroll, living on the grounds, uh, dedicated to the care of Chelsea. And these troopers were there to transport her any place she needed to go. In fact, there's a funny story. When Chelsea was uh, older and in school in Washington, uh, she got sick. And they said, we're going to call home. And she said, oh, please don't call my mother. She's too busy. Call my father. And Bill really had far more to do with Chelsea's upbringing than she did, uh, I know, because I was there for most of it. When she, when she went to work uh, after the Rose Law Firm, uh, she uh, became head of the health care task force appointed by Bill Clinton. And, of course, the health care bill failed, and one of the big reasons was that Hillary insisted on total secrecy in designing the legislative package. A court ultimately fined her for having secrecy, but that penchant for secrecy was established and evident way back then. Then Bill goes into a long thing in the speech about how after health care lost, Hillary decided to pass it piece by piece to help everybody, and one of the first things was to insure children. Well, that's the opposite of the truth. After the bill failed in 94, I spoke to Hillary, 
And I said, you can't go into this by-election accomplishing nothing on health care. Pass the Bob Dole bill, a bill Bob Dole had introduced a year before to counter Hillary's bill that simply insured children. And Hillary said, no, we can't do that. We can't just do one part of this. We have to do everything or do nothing. Uh, and uh, then in 1997, uh, we passed the Kennedy-Kassenbaum bill that did exactly what the Dole bill would have done. Uh, and I was involved in it along with Bill, and Hillary was not involved with that at all in creating the Children's Health Insurance Program, CHIP. Then Hillary ran for the Senate, and Bill helped her by pardoning the Puerto Rican terrorists in the FALN who had tried to blow up the Capitol and assassinate Harry Truman and had blown up Francis Tavern, killing a police officer. And he gave those pardons because he wanted to appease the militants in the Puerto Rican community to get them to vote for Hillary. Then in the Senate record, Bill says that Hillary was a great senator. She wasn't. Uh, she introduced almost nothing that passed. And of the eight bills that she did pass, seven are completely symbolic. Rename a courthouse, congratulate a high school soccer team on winning the championship. There was only one substantive bill, and that had a million co-sponsors in addition to Hillary. Then uh, she ran for president and then became secretary of state. Now, in describing her record as Secretary of State, Bill never mentions Benghazi. He never mentions the secret emails. He never mentions any of the really important aspects of, his te of her tenure. It's like asking Abraham Lincoln's widow. Other than that, how did you like the play, Mrs. Lincoln? Uh, he says that Hillary fought hard for Iran's sanctions. She did, but she fought against them. Uh, whenever Mar Menendez or Mark Kirk proposed tougher sanctions, Hillary would send Wendy Sherman, her deputy, to Capitol Hill to testify against it, to warn that it would be terrible if these sanctions passed. The Senate then passed these sanctions largely unanimously over her strong objection. So when you look at Hillary's record and you look at Bill's description of it, they are two completely different things. Now listen, I don't have the reach here that Bill did. I don't have his microphone. Uh, and Facebook bars me from sharing these videos uh, because they say I'm too anti-Hillary. So please share this all over the place. Let this thing go viral. Let hundreds of thousands of people see it. Uh, it's, it's kind of the concise rebuttal of Bill's speech, and there's really nobody else that was there that can do it in the way that I can. So please share this all over the place. And uh, while you're at it, like me. <laughs> I like you, and that way we can stay in touch during the election. Uh, I also have a website, dickmorris.com, and every day I have a video uh, that I'll email to you uh, about the election. And, of course, I hope you buy my new book, Armageddon, How Trump Can Beat Hillary. Thanks for watching.